Hi guys, uh, my name is uh, Solomon Jagwe. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going to be uh, doing a, a brief overview of the Octane Render plugin for Unreal Engine 4. So this was just recently announced at uh, Seagraph and I was super super excited when I checked it out and saw you know the quality that you know that's coming in. I'm like man to do real time and also have Octane because I'm up I'm a long time user for Octane in uh, 3ds Max and Maya. So this to me is extremely exciting because I'm just jumping into Unreal and learning how to use it to make um, my short films. And I'm also considering using it for my t animated TV series, uh, The Adventures of Unkoza and Nancha. And uh, so the way you get it is uh, you go to the, the announcement page at the very bottom, all the way down. There's a link that says it's available to try today. And when you click on that link, it's going to lead you to this page uh, on the forum. And they have one for uh, Blender as well as uh, Unreal. And you, you're supposed to sign up for an Octane free tier account. And that one gives you the ability to render using the Octane render engine in Unreal. But you can only use one GPU. That's the catch. And so once you sign up, you're going to get a confirmation page like this one and the subscription is going to be in your account. So that's why you'll be able to download it. So once you're ready, you download it. And I also downloaded the one for Blender <laughs> because I'm just now I have in a resisted long enough. But I think I'm finally going to get into Blender, especially now that they have a free auction render engine for Blender. So I installed the one for Unreal. And the way you access it in the Unreal Engine, you go to Edit and you go to Plugins, and it's going to be here. So make sure it's enabled um, for it to work. It's going to say Octane Prime for Unreal Studio. And so, I'm um, right now the case study is uh, these characters from the uh, demo uh, video. If any of you have looked on the YouTube channel, and uh, their uh, Nvidia YouTube channel, they've shown this amazing ray traced uh, you know short film so these are the characters from that short film they were graciously av made available by nvidia i believe it was announced at seagraph as well so this is the character that i'm going to be using to see how it looks in octane so once the plugin is installed you're going to find it at the very top here and so you can choose for it to, to use the viewport for the Unreal Engine viewport to be the one that uh, actually renders. But I want to see it in a, a, a panel that opens up. So click on Octane to activate it. Uh, give it a few seconds uh, to go through the cycle. And uh, th the other options that will pop up here uh, will enable you to choose between using it as a, wi a windowed version uh, whereby you have both this viewport of uh, Unreal as well as the uh, floating panel. So that's what it's doing right now. So it's uh, calculating the textures, applying all the settings and shaders. And before, like in 3ds Max, we used to be able to do a convert, the material conversion. But it looks like that process has been done automatically. So let's see. Um, this window will pop up. So I'm going to put it off to the side here. And so the key thing that you have to do to render is you have to select the Octane Render target, which has been automatically added. And then you click on Render, right? And under this setting, you can also you have the kernel, which is what you're used to seeing in uh, Maya and 3ds Max. So these samples is how fast, you know, how much time you're giving the uh, GPU render engine, which is Octane in this case, to bake uh, or cook the, the scene in that sense. So let's see what happens when I press render. Here goes. So the first time I saw this, I was like, okay, how long is it going to take? Is it going to even look like the what you see right here in the scene? And so I went it anxiously. I'm like, okay, let's see. <laughs> so here's the character. And look at that, right? And look how fast it's rendering, guys. So this is what I was ex I was looking forward to and I was expecting because I wanted to see if really they are giving you this engine to use in Unreal Engine, which is supposed to be a real-time, you know, game engine. How fast in comparison would the Octane Render Engine 
do you know compared to the uh, the built-in uh, engine for uh, unreal for the rendering part and it's really doing a good job and considering that um, I'm only using 500 samples and I'm still getting this nice uh, you know quality that is very very impressive and I can't wait to dig deeper and uh, actually create some shots you know for my short films because I am already familiar with the uh, octane render and so this is gonna be <laughs> one more reason why I really want to use octane um, in unreal and I'm rather to use the unreal engine uh, to render my shot so there you go guys this is octane render engine in unreal how cool is that thank you so much uh, epic thank you so much Autoy, for this partnership because it, this is going to make it so much easier for us as uh, you know indie film developers to jump straight in and especially those who are coming from the octane uh, render engine you know background whether it's cinema 4d maya or 3ds max and for me uh, this is um, I'm already sold. <laughs> this is the fastest test I, I can do right now, but just check it out, guys. Look how fast it's uh, rendering. And again, because it's uh, a free version, you only get to use one GPU. So you can imagine if you have multiple GPUs made available, that's gonna be even faster. So there's a quick overview: Octane Render Engine in Unreal. Just awesome. <laughs> Thanks guys. Please don't forget to subscribe and click like don't for, and also click on that uh, notification bell so you can get uh, I, I, I get an, an alert when I about whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much and uh, see you next time.